A survey recently found that Facebook pays its interns eight thousand dollars a month, more than any other American company. The survey was carried out by the website Glassdoor, on which people can post information about job experiences and pay. In second place was Microsoft, which pays its interns seven thousand one hundred dollars a month. Oil company Exxon Mobil came in third, at six thousand five hundred dollars. It was one of only a few non-technology companies to make the top twenty-five list. Amazon and Apple interns earn six thousand four hundred dollars a month, while Google pays six thousand dollars, according to the survey. These internships pay much more than the average American earns. The government estimated the average U.S. pay in 2015. Was about four thousand dollars a month. One thing that has changed over the years is that many companies now use the same methods for recruiting interns as for full-time employees. Ed Koch is the director of research, public policy, and legislative affairs for the National Association of Colleges. And employers, or NACE. He says companies now come directly to colleges, hoping to find interns who will later become permanent employees. They're very selective in terms of who they choose to bring on board, particularly because they want to be able to convert that student into a full-time hire once that internship is over. This means that students should be preparing for internships in the same ways they would for a real career job. NACE connects U.S. college career service centers and conducts surveys on the job market for graduates. Koch said at companies the organization works with, about 52 percent of interns. End up getting full-time jobs. He said research also suggests that interns working in paid internships get hired faster than those who are not paid. The primary reason for that is that the employers that provided paid internships actually were the ones hiring. The students. They were looking at them in a probationary fashion. According to a NACE survey, students who completed paid internships with private for-profit companies received fifty-three thousand five hundred twenty-one dollars in starting pay. Those who took unpaid internships received an average starting offer of thirty-four thousand. Three hundred seventy-five dollars. Another NACE study found that unpaid internships led to decreased levels of job satisfaction. They also resulted in less development of skills than paid internships. But unpaid interns gained a better understanding of their career field. And some increased their academic performance. The research showed. William Goodlow is president and chief executive officer of the not-for-profit Sponsors for Educational Opportunity, or SEO. He says many companies have found that an internship is a much more valuable recruiting tool. Than a job interview. What they find is that interviews are not as reliable as they would like. But if you get to work with someone, observe them for ten weeks, 
then you have a much better sense if you want to ask them back full time after they graduate from college. The SEO Career Program recruits and trains college students and places them in paid internships. The organization works with underserved and/or underrepresented students, including African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans. SEO reports that 80% of its interns end up getting full-time job offers. Goodlow noted that one problem with unpaid internships is that they limit the candidates to only those with enough money to support themselves. Besides internships, some schools offer students another kind of work experience, called cooperative or co-op education. Co-op students balance classroom study with full-time employment throughout the school year. The students are paid by companies while working during extended breaks from academic studies. The University of Cincinnati, or UC, in the midwestern state of Ohio, started the first American co-op program in 1906. Today, it has partnerships with more than 1,800 companies. Depending on the area of study, most co-op students at UC earn between twelve dollars to twenty-seven dollars per hour. This would be equal to yearly pay of twenty-five thousand dollars to fifty-six thousand dollars. Some UC programs, including engineering, design, and architecture, require students to complete co-op. Programs. In others, students can choose between a co-op or internship. Kettle Cedarcroitz is the head of UC's Division of Experience-Based Learning and Career Education. As with internships, he says companies now use co-ops as a major recruiting tool. Right now, we have an average of a 98 point placement rate in co-op jobs. Then, what happens when they graduate? They have 20 months of practical experience in their major under their belt. Cedar Kreutz said co-ops can also be good for students' academic performance and help them reach their graduation goals. In a co-op program, they actually do graduate on time to a very large extent because they learn something in the classroom and then they go out in industry and they get to apply it and they get to sort of digest it. UC also operates international co-op programs in which students study languages and then go to work at companies in Japan, Germany, and Singapore. I'm Brian Lynn.